Oh, wait a minute. Give me a second. I'm gonna start and toss my links out. Mm -hmm. No one can hear me. So let's see. Podcast control bar check. Copy. Paste check. Mm, I'm sorry, but I can't role play right now. Because I'm slightly busy doing stuff. And a mountain. And a mountain. Okay, so this is the basic. We're going to ignore this frame for a moment. So just realize how derby it looks. But yeah, so we have the. Bam. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of remove this one and redo it. So. She looks really bizarre. What's this for? I can read you. Now, if people want to talk to me, you can either start a call with me, and it will make life easier. Do 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 do. I cannot paste for my own live stream. It kind of sucks. And that's big PD. Don't want to do that. Copy. I'm just trying to see what's going on with the chat. Cause, yeah, yeah, go away, noise. Yeah, I don't have to hear me. Alright, so. Do, 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 do. Today, I am going to finish this bullshit. Do, do, ba -dum, ba -dum. So, a couple things you need to know. This is how I do my basic blocking. As explained in a previous animation I did with front page, the Everfree Northwest OC. This is kind of like, yeah. She's gonna look like a freaking ninja by the time it's done, but yeah, most of it's really simple. So, okay, make her fall backwards and make her grab, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, this crazy, whoo <laughs> somersault BS in the middle. <laughs> So, let me check on my people. Hi, Mau Mau. Hey. I am going to be animating today in Adobe Flaw. See so, yes, a something, something or other. Um, I am. I have 13 viewers. I feel special. And behold, streamception. It's a stream within a stream within a stream within a stream. <laughs> okay, so yeah. No, f don't don't remind me, tired man. Don't remind me it's called Crash CS6, okay? So, a couple things for those of you who are unaware of the magic and or wonder. That is Adobe Flaw CS6. Um, it's kind of the devil's work. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to... Bam. Take care of that. And do that. Yeah, 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 you see this hourglass? This is the hourglass of doom. It's like, oh god. Oh god. Please don't crash. <laughs> Please. This is the moment where you would ah! Yay! Where you normally sacrifice a small child to its will. Okay, so what we're gonna do, since this is on frame 5, and I don't want to do the obvious, so I'm gonna choose frame... Three because I want this in the movement between these two to be nice and snappy. So a six, and then I'm going to kind of ignore this thing's existence. This is the sucky part about doing how I have to do it. So, so 
For those of you who are unaware of the laws of traditional animation, I'm going to give you a quick overview. Um, should get hella real. So this is the last position for this leg. So what I want to do is take this leg, move it about a good way to the distance. That way there's some easing up. We're going to take key from caddy, go to here. And I'm going to select, um, oh yeah, for those of you who do not have key from caddy, get it. It's, it's beautiful, man. So this is a really good type of symbol. It's when there's a little circly part right here. Do, 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 do. It's like, oh, look at there. It's right before the floor. But we're going to go with this because it just really, really works out really well. So she's kind of, no, oh, bad. Bad adobe flaw. So we're going to go here. Get the angle in correctly. I'm going to lower her belly a bit. Move her neck a tiny bit over. Move her head a tiny bit over. Yeah, sometimes I'll get this stupid headception thing going on. It's really irritating. <sighs> the dope flaw, don't be mean to me. I'm trying to work. So, yeah, we got some nice build up here. Don't worry, just exterminate it and pretend it never happened. No one must know of your dark and terrible secret that there is, in fact, a second head. So, yeah, you can fix this part by, like, doing this, you know, kind of easing it around. You just don't want to make sure that the back of the neck is always aligned with her ear. Right here, and you always want to make sure that the neck piece aligns with the belly. That way, it doesn't look like some type of strange hybrid creature from the depths of Mars. So, move her hair a bit. Considering, yeah, give it some that. We're gonna move her hoofy up. Actually, I'm going to move it back a bit. Maybe widen it out a little bit more. And then we're going to do this. And then I'm going to pick one where it's not too conspicuous. Because the next one she's going to have to be like, whoop, bam, right up in there. So I'm going to have to go to there because standard rules apply here. And it's going to be around here. Now, for everyone has their own style blocking, this is simply my kind of jacked up, slightly half-assed way of doing so. <sighs> You'll see a lot of this tailception BS. It's, it's, it's rather annoying. And then let me range, send it back. So... So yeah, that's so far what we got. Yeah, so what the hell? So what your job is to do at this point is kind of bridge these two. Now the reasoning why I did this on three and not the obvious, you know, two, because it's like it's five, so therefore three. You want to give the, let me actually, in the window. This position some time to work. So next we're going to add one here, F6. And this one shit gets a little weird. So our final position, as I said before, is right over here. Nice and snappy. So essentially you're in betweening. And in betweening, for those of you who are unaware of its dark and terrible powers amongst the world, kind of sucks. So we want to make it close, but not too, too close. So in this position, her butt's a little higher. We want to make it to where it's believable that the next position is indeed, in fact, right there. And cover as much of it as possible. So I'm going to move her leg over here and continue the great old tradition of the... Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that happens sometimes, which really, really sucks. Okay, so there. 
and then I'm gonna change it to a one. Oh yeah. Move that up a bit. And in there. Then this is going to turn into this. And actually that position is just wonderful for my needs. Okay, so I'm gonna move it out a bit. Yeah, so move it, skew it a bit. Then I'm gonna do this just to get her head into proper placement. Then her hair is going to go up a wee bit. Animation is like, okay, now move it down a bit. Now move it down a bit. Now let's see how that looks. It, it helps to, <laughs> that was a kind of sudden. It helps to carry the motion a little bit more, but I'm going to actually um, separate this leg some more so it actually looks correct. Now sometimes you'll get this horrible, god-awful, ugly bump. And you're going to have to find your happy medium between perfect necklines and perfect that. And then, yeah, so I'm actually going to move this leg back a bit too. And then, yeah, so I'm going to actually move this. Move that around. Because, like, your objective when you do this type of really fast movement, because it only lasts for, like, one frame. So, bam. It's just to get it to look right. Uh, now I'm to... Yeah, I actually do animate everything on the same layer. I found it so much... Ignore that. So much easier to do than um, a standard wave. Um, what I'll actually do afterwards is I have this really, really, really cool flash tool up in here. I'll actually show it to you. Is it is I'll animate on the same layer, be done with it. Unless it's something insane, like, I don't know, her hair actually for some of these and her legs, I'll separate it. But for the most part, I like to stay with the bulk of the body in one fail swoop. Um, it's also that comes from the traditional animation mind where it's like, oh, okay, I just animate it. I don't have to worry about too many layers until I get the color. Then it's layers. Then it's post production layers. To me, um, when I separate into layers and do all the magical BS I gotta do to it, that is when it becomes post production and that is when magic happens. So, yeah, um, I am unsure as to what the grab animation looks like because I don't get told shit. So I'm gonna like pick her here and kind of like, you know, I'm going to move her head a bit up and then, yeah, I'm gonna kind of have to jerry rig one together. So let's do this since this is kind of like my brain child, so it were. Yeah, so another thing you guys gotta. Keep in mind with animating hair. Hair is a pain, despite what everyone likes to tell you. So I'm actually going to move her hoof to this one. That way I can get a good... Let's see, that's number three. Yeah, so she looks like a little zombie reaching for life. Yeah, the one thing I always have is this, and it really sucks, so... Our placement location for me, anyway, it helps me a lot figure out where I'm putting the arms. Now, something else that really, really, I mean, like, grinds my gears, <laughs> there we go, is when I'll get an animator and they don't have a good concept of pony anatomy. So it turns this jacked up. Oh, god damn it, Flash, why? Why you gotta be like that, Flash? I'm I'm just hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. No one must know. Okay. Ah, success. So, gotta make sure these limbs are correctly attached in the correct location. You see, this would be much more fun if I wasn't limited to the um, side view, which 
For anyone who knows me a lot, I really despise the side view. I think it is the worst view, because you can do so little with it. It's like, oh, you fucks. So, I'm going to move the legs a bit. Then, so the idea at this point is, okay, so, so she's going to be grabbing something. Time to bring physics into the equation. Be skippy. So she's going to be grabbing something. She's going to have to move her center weight around a lot just to get her grip on. Okay, so. Now, for those of you who are unaware of my animation style, a lot of people like to keep the perfect, perfect perfectly intact. I trash the thing. And by the time I am done animating something, it is barely recognizable. So, with this <laughs> crazy kind of thing we're looking at here, the idea is that I'm actually going to do a rearing pose now. Yeah, like a boss. So yeah, this kind of BS looking thing only lasts one frame. So. If it looks kind of what, don't worry about it. It's just there is my blocking. Um, so actually, let me actually open up something. In my magical world of animation, let's see. Um, anatomy. No, it's a spike flamethrower. Curses. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes I'll do certain animations in Toon Boom and other things in Flaw. Yeah, I have like a lot of AJ shit floating around my thing, so. And so many references, it's kind of redundant. <laughs> so I'm actually looking for um something in particular. Okay, there's my pictures, so. I think that's the one I'm looking at. Yeah, this is the one I want. So. I have an accent. I didn't know that. I feel weird. It's like, my life is a lie. But yeah, I can see that. So this is um pencil animation. So when she's supposed to have this cool thing, she's staying there, she goes into her oh shit mode, hit that, and then BAM! I actually really like that pose, it's like my favorite pose of the whole thing. But I'm really good at rearing, so actually for this I gotta make her legs kind of move about a bit more, but you all get the idea. So this is just going to be a basic rough BS of a picture I did, so... I'm actually gonna just copy this and then move it all over to roughen it. And then we're gonna go right here. F7. Okay, so for those of you who are unaware of how Adobe Flaw works, the F7 button makes a new frame that is empty. So you can just put something in it. And this picture is only here for a reference. Just a reference, because I can't do. I was informed to not stray too far from side view. So I'm going to try doing this purely side view, which murders me inside. So, okay, so the thing we have to make sure to keep track of is this to this. Yeah, there it is. That's what we're keeping track of. So, yeah, so we got move that over there. So you see we have our Nice standard AJ animation standing, and then we have the one where she's toppling in the middle of the freaking air. So the idea is that she grabs the person, or the person comes towards her little hoovies, and she starts pretty much getting ready to toss them like they're salad. Now, I tend to use previous or the next views as my reference points for a lot of things. So in order to do this correctly, this is going to be two single frames of her rearing, or in this case flailing, to get to the 
So this one's gonna be here. The next one's gonna end up right about here with her head, right about in the middle, actually closer to right here. Because um, something else I gotta mention about framing is that your timing, you will be tempted to put her body directly in the center, and that's well and good. It'll come out even, but you don't want it. You you just don't. It doesn't look right. It doesn't feel natural whatsoever and then it just ends up just bad in general so other things you have to always keep in mind space her hooves N never just go okay i guess i'll i guess i can do this it's like no 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 no. you you don't just like go, okay here here's your hoof oh she'll be fine if i just do it you know right next to each other all nice and neat you you don't ever want to do that it will look God awful if you do. I'm not exaggerating. It will look terrible. So speaking of looking terrible, I have to um do some crazy stuff back here. So the idea is that her hair is flipping because she's flipping. So her hair has to also fall suit. And her tail is kind of the craziest counterweight like ever. So for this specific pose, her tail is actually going to be closer between her legs than anything else. I'm also going to be adjusting the leg right here. Um, let's just kind of get it back to normal. And I'm going to raise this foot off the floor. So that way when I pull up the second foot, it's not so, what? Is she actually doing that? It just looks nice and natural ish to do it also wait um you will not stay and if you think about it in real life if you're going to be i don't know walking on your tiptoes you're not going to stay in a position like this insanity for long you're you're just not going to that's why bucking horses well not correction bucking but rearing horses only rear for Oh, yeah, it looks so stiff. <sighs> I'm so tired of stiffness. So, fast six, and then we're going to kind of bend it like Beckham. So, I'm going to kind of ignore the rules of her body for a moment and keep her head a little closer to here. So, there. Now, remember, this is the land of candy colored equines. You can kind of get away with murder with these things. Just don't poke her head through her neck. That'd be weird. Okay, so now there's a lot of people who don't really understand my supposed animation process. It includes, you know, destroying things and making bizarre shapes that really should not exist. And that's just kind of how I roll. Um, don't, and I tend to kind of ignore certain things like, oh no, it'll overlap here and then it'll pop out. And it's like, oh, don't worry, I use the hair to fix this issue. So, for this in mind, as you can tell, it's already some type of Bride of Frankenstein's nightmare going awry. So, yeah, I'm probably going to clear this keyframe. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to clear this keyframe and retry. So, F6. That's, that's also something important you always got to keep in mind. You. You do have the ability to go backwards in time and make it look like it never happened. Traditional animation, we don't get that luxury. We are doomed. <laughs> it's like, ha ha ha, you wanted a dream. Yeah, so I'm gonna move these two as one unit and adjust them together so I can get AJ to still look pretty cool. Also, I am a big fan of the Richard Williams version of animating, which involves completely reversing a shape to make it look good. I am not even kidding. That man is a genius. So, we have AJ, and she now has crotch legs. Um, yeah, it's just the adjustment phase now. Now, I... Oh, okay, cool. I can do more than just side view. That's that's boss. I'm so happy with that one. Um, yeah, I was told to 
not stray from this side view by a certain producer. We all know who, because it would make the counteraction animation easier. Which I do get to some extent, but in other terms, yeah, just kind of like, what? Yeah, so I'm actually moving this. So also, something else you really want to keep in mind. So let's do a quick test. So you see the little white dot right here on the rigging, right here? Now, you set it up to the correct location that is now the easiest way to know where your arm will have to go at all times. The spot where, well in my case I did this on purpose, where I overlap the neck with the torso, there's that little line. You use it kind of as a mask, but you kind of can use it also, it's why I do it, is to find the actual shoulder joint. So you just imagine an invisible circle right here for the shoulder. Now when you do that, you can see the circle on this one and the other one's still partially there. You line these two circles up. Well, to the best of your ability anyway, but you want to line those two up so when you do this, they're actually symmetrical on her shoulder. So it's not like one's, I don't know, closer to her stomach or anything crazy like that. It's kind of like, um, pinning together where her body parts are. Now, I'm actually going to adjust this leg. Yeah, she's already going to be like partially airborne on this, so we want to make this kind of as seamless as possible. One, two, three, four. So I'm actually going to go to four. So for those of you who are unaware of that little line, the whole difference of the world that little line makes, when um, it's the pose right before or right after contact, it makes it look like she's lifting the hoof. It sounds redonkulous, I know, but trust me peoples, it saves lives. So the other thing I'm going to do is kind of move her body in certain places that makes anatomical sense. You want to always give her a nice belly when you're showing belly. And then, so let's try this. So, and we have the basic. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't turn out too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it kind of derped at, so. The idea is that the animation for it is kind of fast. And I'll go through and adjust each individual thing to where it looks good. I'm also having to move her a lot with her legs and stuff like that because she's moving a weight on her, the weight being her opponent. So the idea is that she's supposed to toss and rock it. So it's going to look pretty cool when she gets back to standard. But yeah, so far this is what I got. Um, so, yeah, if you have crazier poses, like, I don't know, this one, how it looks so bizarre, it makes no sense whatsoever, it's okay if you have it for one frame. This is my animation equivalent in Flash of trying to achieve a smear frame. Smear frames, for those of you who are unaware, is this amazing... Okay, so let me explain it. Nature has motion blurs. Actually, I think this is my favorite pose so far of the entire thing. Let me actually find the... Nope. No, I know there's one where she's like a turtle, <laughs> the AJ turtle. I kind of am in love with the AJ turtle. <laughs> uh, but um, emotion blurring is something that happens in real life when you take pictures or do normal um, uh, like film. It's pretty much the shutter on the camera can only record 24 images a second. Anything faster becomes a blur, which makes it look fast, but that's normal life. Animation does not have these, therefore we have to do something to do it. Also, um, her body right here, see how it kind of like does this crazy whoopy thing? Yeah, you want to make her look flexible, not like I'm just gonna move around a puppet around. You gotta make her look flexible, make her look like she's breathing through this. This is also because of how the back arcs and I decided to, for my own sanity, remove the neck for these because if you're, um, if you think about it as a weight perspective, if you're flipping, 
Your head is partially tucked. You're not going to have your neck stretched out or else you're going to kill yourself. It just, it just bodes wet bad for everyone. Uh, so yeah, um, how long have I been recording this? Podcast like a drone bomb. 30 minutes. Not, not bad actually. So if you think about it, the roughing animation I have on there took me about 15 minutes to figure out. The, the key blocking took me around 30. So that's like 45 minutes invested. Um, after, yeah, this is something else I gotta mention. That's after trying to whittle around how the hell to make it look normal. Um, I actually kind of really like this motion. It's like, Wah! she's like a ninja. Ninja AJ. And actually, yeah, I think I know I'm gonna do the next part. It's just pretty much taking this, turning it. <laughs> it it's kind of cheap, but it works so well. Yeah, um... Just pretty much make sure to remember something. Your puppet. Well, let me let me show you our AJ. Mmm, she's pretty, isn't she? Mmm, yeah, she's damn sexy. But you don't want to be a slave to the puppet, even if you are stuck on one view, because that's what the scene calls for. You don't have to obey this. This is a cartoon. Granted, anatomy is a thing, and you would like to keep this. Stick to your anatomy law set is always a good thing. However, I don't need that shit. Um, <laughs> cartoons are meant to break certain rules of anatomy, certain rules of physics. If you don't, it just turns out pretty bad in the end. Um, yeah, I really do hope people are watching this because I normally do not um, record myself animating. It just, I normally don't. It's just a thing. It just doesn't feel normal to me. <sighs> but yeah, um, every animator has their own style. Me, I like to do some crazy shit. Also, we gotta think of this as a character standpoint as to what makes sense. If you're going to tuck down and you're going to turn into a little ball, think Samus. Does, does her ass, you know, does her head stay level? It's going to tuck in with the rest of her limbs just so she can bounce and spring. That's also a gymnastics thing. I had a friend who actually was in gymnastics. And if you're going to do the push-up, this thing, you're going to do a, exert a lot of energy doing it. So I'm actually going to have it to where she's going to squish down only on this side. So only this part of her body is going to squish before it comes to this. And she's just going to springboard up because that's a martial arts thing as well. you got to turn yourself to a living jumping bean to get that right. Yeah, nice pretty arcs. Also, when you do these, make sure to change the position of the hair. Even if you're just going to copy, paste, turn, change the hair's position. You want her mane and tail to look like there's some weight to it. Like, it's actually there. Not less like, oh, look at there, we doodled that on top just to make it look like she's a pony. But you gotta make it feel like it's weight. Squash, stretch it, twist it around. And also, that's a lot of follow-through is her animation. Which is why, when she does this, you also want to try having it not follow the motion of the head most of the time. You want to actually have it follow mainly the neck. And remember, even if she her head's level, it's going to take the hair a little bit longer, like right here. It, the hair will still move, even no matter how minute the movement. So, yeah, we have this, and she's going to bounce. So, yeah, so we have this, and that's the fall position. So I'm actually going to... Six. I'm going to move her down a bit. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> so... I'm actually gonna go right here, F6, leave my shadow alone so I have something to work with. I'm actually gonna move her tail out a bit, because physics command it. Her hair is gonna move this way. I love these things. Um, her head will flail out for a bit, because it's just gravity, it's how it works. Your body parts tend to move while in mo- Ooh, wrong way. <laughs> yeah, that's something you gotta look out for. So just occasionally just kind of take it over there. 
move it bam move it the little dot over here bam so bam and also makes her look more of a believable type of character so we yeah, have her body spinal positions over here it's okay to have single frames it's okay um this will mainly be converted to a bejeebus load of singles anyway so we're gonna have her right around here okay so and then now we're gonna actually convert it to the final limbs so we're actually gonna oh bad bad flaw Yeah, I'm just going to give her a little bit more wiggle, kind of move her legs a bit. Yeah, that looks uh, okay. Yeah, just move the hair a bit this way. That way it looks kind of like, yeah, it looks a little bit more believable. Yeah, so you want to try making the motion seem as believable as possible. So we're actually going to do a couple F6 and a couple more right here. So I'm actually going to squish her. So squash and stretch works in a magical way. So I want to actually do this and then shift so I can get both ends to move. And God damn it. So I want both ends on her to... We want her to get taller and thinner for the squashes. So, see, it already gives it some bounce. It makes it look a little bit more living. Like this one, however, is going to be a stretch frame. So I'm going to actually do this and make her thinner. Just a little thinner. It'll, it'll give her a little bit more pop. See? A little bit more pop, so the AJ turtle looks a little bit more correct. Yeah, considering this is something that they don't ever do in the show, it's always useful to know. Bam! Look at her. Look at the AJ turtle go. Go, AJ turtle, go! And actually, I'm going to, um... Make another one of these F6, and it's going to be her limb starting to rotation down. So, um, that and this limb's gonna no, god damn it, this limb's actually gonna go ooh, this way because if you can see where, where our final end is, it's gonna actually. So, yeah, we're gonna actually need to um do some stretching a bit. It's okay if the limbs turn out a little too plump. You can always adjust these magical, silly little quotients of yours. But yeah, you want to start getting the motion and like, oh, she's actually moving it. She's booking it. You really want to give the... Yeah, see, this is also the part where I'm actually I'm going to adjust these legs. So a little too much flapping going on. Remember, it's okay to do a gradual move. You don't want anything too insane. Actually, I'm going to move this again. Yeah, because this is still during the... Yeah, I'm going to move this way, actually. To fall. There we go. That looks nice. Because it's okay to um, move the body as a whole. And then we're going to just kind of slide the neck on up. Ooh, a little too much sliding going on up in here. So yeah, um, control Z, control Z, control Z. Yeah, so I'm actually going to move right here just a little bit. Whoa, 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 that was a little too much right there. So yeah, I'm actually going to move both these so they're closer. Yeah, that looks so much better. Okay. So I'm actually going to, let's see. So by here, let's see, where's her hair at? Yeah, okay, so I'm actually going to start rotating her hair back this way. 
and that the tail has it. So yeah, her tail needs to move accordingly with this nightmarish thing. Yeah, so we have. Yeah, okay, that, that looks pretty good, yeah. Actually, it looks like her legs are doing something. That, that's nice. Okay, yeah. Maybe I can dig it. Always save. I mean, like, always save. <laughs> now, even if the move looks ridiculous like that, that's just silly. So, we're going to actually go right here, and then I'm going to... F Mm -hmm. I'm going to F7, so F7, here I'll see. This is also a very useful thing. Instead of trying to go back or forwards, you can also animate running on the backward. So we go here, paste in place. Ta-da! So we can kind of like guesstimate this. So her legs are right here. This is actually a really nice motion. I'm very happy with this. So we're gonna move this leg a bit this way. Gonna lower this just a little bit. So pretty much right now you're easing in this motion. You want to make it as seamless and as painless as possible. Oop. And also make sure not to, you know, do that. Yeah, there we go. Last. Yeah, some basic stuff. And since her Yeah, so I'm actually going to move her head about this way. Then her hair should be a little bit higher. Actually, it should be around here, so. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a quick once over, see how this motion looks. And you can see, you know, okay, that takes a little too long. So I gotta play with it a bit just to get the timing right. So yeah, we're actually going to just kind of move and shuffle this all over by one. Sometimes, even though your reference is X amount of frames, you're gonna go, you know, it doesn't look right. I'm going to fix this shit. And you know what? It tends to look better in the end anyway. Remove frames. Okay, so. So we're gonna try this again. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I see a lag. So yeah, our lag is actually here. So I'm gonna remove this frame. Yeah, so when I do, just just keep cutting away things that make no cognitive sense towards your move. So, woo, I think I had a lag there. So, but we're going to double check it here in this window. Okay, yeah. So that's actually starting to come together. So yeah, let me actually um do this without the guidelines. So, control enter. <coughs> I dropped my mouse. So, yeah, um, she's still a little jittery. I still need to do a lot of her um, cleanup for. Yeah, she lags way too much right there. On the um, springboard, she needs to move more in order for it to look right. She just is still far too long. Yeah, for um, what it is, it's actually pretty good so far. If all fails, it works as like a badass recovery, so. And da, 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 da. Yeah, I am actually going to. Oh man, I still have plenty of people watching my wonderful 
disturbing work. So let's go backwards here. So as I said, she spends, yes, yeah, she spends way too much time in this position. So I need to, oh, okay, so, okay, so maybe got to remove one of these, so things like this, you want it to be as fast as possible, so it doesn't look so bizarre. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I'm actually going to squish part of her body, so I'm actually going to do this. Yeah, no, I'm going to need the torso as well, just for it to work, and then I'm going to kind of angle this out. Yeah, that looks a little better. Oh, what? Nah, nah, that's another thing. You always gotta, um, be leery of repeat frames. Now, you see, oh my god, this is a top back throw. So the idea is that bam, bam, the pony's flying. It's there's no way out of this. They're they're gone. They're 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 gone. Bam. Like Applejack pulled it. Also always doing this viewer. And also by making it so short on the you know, make it ones and not twos on the return. It'll make the motion look so much faster and be able to hit the recovery so much easier. See? It's slightly, it's a little jittery still to make. Well, it's really fast. And when you're playing a fighting game, you kind of want this shit to go by pretty fast. Ta-da! She's like got some Bruce Lee moves in her. Yeah, so, yeah, I think it looks pretty okay. It's, I'm not too sure if it's good enough, even though she kind of looks like she's swimming a bit. Yeah, but see with the legs right here, if you watch it, you can see her legs kind of scrunch in before she, her body kind of like squishes in before she completely springs out. You want to have that nice seesawing, slightly hypnotics. <laughs> I still love the down turtle thing. That's just so funny. It's so funny to me. So, oh no, no, no! Oh, of course I'm going to adjust the hair. No, I'm just trying to get the motion in first. Um, yeah. So pretty much what you want to do first before you do anything else. You want to get her motion in, so pretty much get her body to look good. So then you go through, then you do all the um, pretty things, like, I'm going to make her hair fabulous now, or mm, I think her hat should bounce a bit, or come off her head a little. Things like that come second. That way, it'll look, mmm, perfect when you're all done. And then you can do all the expressions and all that good jazz to do the anticipation for her face. Uh, because, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lol, she always does. Ah, she gets so little love, so little love. The yeah, let's see. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's pretty much part two of this magical thing. Since today is Monday, I believe, or Tuesday. I have no concept of day anymore. It's Monday, score. So, I will actually be finishing her up tomorrow. And. I know, right? She's getting a lot more love this season. So is Fluttershy. To be honest, the episode the other day on the th testing 1, 2, 3, just because the beginning, how Rainbow Dash was acting, I could not bring myself to actually enjoy it. She just pissed me off so much. It's like, you bitch. Because I know it's supposed to be, ha ha ha, it's Rainbow Dash's personality. But she wasn't even trying to pay attention. She wasn't. It's like, you suck. What is your problem? I mean, literally. 
So yeah, I'm going to end this stream and finish this up on the next one. So altogether, I've spent about, I don't know, roughly two hours animating this total. Yeah, she is kind of like, apples, apples, apples. Insane. All right, later.